uh, when you install uh, Kafka on any computer, it comes basically as a set of the files. And uh, those files are mostly executable scripts with extension .sh or .bat scripts for Windows. Also, there are default configuration files for Zookeeper and Kafka Broker. And here on this diagram, you see default ports that are used in those configuration files. So, if you start a Zookeeper, it will use the port 2181. And the Kafka Broker or server will use the port 9092. And here is important notice. If you are going to launch multiple, for example, Zookeepers on the same computer, you need to use different ports because uh, every single port uh, can be occupied only by single process on a single computer. And that's why if you want to run, for example, three Zookeeper servers on the same computer, you need to adjust configuration files and create separate configuration files for every Zookeeper instance with different ports. And uh, it is also a good idea to create separate log folders for every instance. For example, you could use ports 2181 for first Zookeeper, 2182 for second one and 2183 for third one. Same relates to Kafka brokers. It is possible to run multiple brokers on the same computer and also you need to create separate configuration files for every instance of brokers and you need to adjust at least the ports and make them for example 1992, 1993, 1994 and so on depending on the quantity of the brokers you are going to run on your computer. And also you should adjust the folders where each broker will store messages or logs. If you are going to run, for example, Zookeeper instances on different uh, physical or virtual servers, then there is no need to adjust ports and uh, you are able to run all of them on the same port but on different computers. Same relates to Kafka brokers. You could use the default uh, port 1992 on all computers or if you wish, uh, you could adjust it to any custom port you want. And one more important notice regarding the launch of Kafka brokers. If you create a cluster with different Kafka brokers and those brokers are located on different computers, even in different data centers, and uh, those brokers uh, need to communicate uh, via public IP addresses uh, or domain names, you need to adjust uh, advertised names in configuration files of each broker. Because advertised name is that host name plus port that are communicated by Kafka broker to Zookeeper. And when producer or consumer will connect to Kafka cluster, Zookeeper will supply this host name plus port that it received from Kafka broker. And for example, if Kafka broker sent advertised host name local host and the port 1992, of course, producer that is located somewhere in other place in the world will not be able to connect to such broker because localhost is local address of computer itself. That's why please be careful and adjust uh, advertised uh, name and port uh, on every broker if you are going to make them public. Okay, that's all what I wanted to talk about uh, here in this lecture and uh, just uh, make a note uh, of those ports that are used uh, by default uh, by Zookeeper and the Kafka broker. Also, please note that I don't want to dive deeper into installation and the launch of Zookeeper and the Kafka broker because all of that we have performed uh, in a previous section. Now let's move on and next uh, let's talk about topics. So see you next. Bye-bye.